to live in truth, you know, what's that Mark Twain quote of, um, if you always tell the truth, you never have to worry about what you say. Like, it's just the, it's just the greatest feeling of all time. So the reason why, why discovering the truth is so important is because every single <laughs> self-defeating behavior, so if you think about self-defeating behaviors, every th single self-defeating behavior in your life is a lie that you believed. You know, think of like, if I, if I can just do this, then I'll get that. If I just do this, then I'll be happy. If, uh, I, yeah. if I do this, people will like me. If I do this, then I'll be successful. All of those little things, like every, you can look back to every single problem in your life, every single time that you've been through struggles and had obstacles, mm -hmm. it was all because of different lies that you were believing at 100%. that time. 100%. And obviously hindsight's 2020, but being able to look back on your life and say, okay, all of these things that have happened, now who really am I? Until you figure that out, you're building a foundation that's just fake. And so if you build something just in the real world, if you build something on a fake false foundation, anytime it an obstacle, it's gonna crumble. Yep. And so you can't begin that process of personal change until you build a solid foundation. Yep. I love how Gary says, the truth is undefeated. The truth is undefeated. Withholding the truth is the exact same thing as lying. Yeah. And it's like, do you wanna live a lie? Or do you want to live in truth? And there's really no in between. Yeah. Like there's there's literally no in between. And when you start thinking about that, then it puts everything in this perspective of like seeking the truth in all areas of your life, mm -hmm. um, which is a very interesting place to be. But it's a very um, growth mindset. It's a very it's a very expansive place to be mentally but it's through that it's through that vulnerability that you give somebody the audacity to share their stuff like every conversation that I've had lately that's that's gotten super deep it was by me first sharing something vulnerable and then it let them open up a little bit and, and share something to theirs and then it's kind of back and forth but until I shared that that conversation wouldn't have gone in that direction you know what I mean um, so to me it's just about living in truth uh, I did a podcast with this guy um, who now I hired as a coach. Uh, his name's Sean Whalen. And I had him on the podcast and I asked, hey, what's one thing you quit doing that enables you to succeed? It's like a question I always ask these people. And he said, lying. He said, about what? He said, everything. I was like, jeez. He's like, everything. He's like, I lied to, to everyone about everything. And it was just that idea, that whole thing. Like, yeah, I'm doing great, doing great. How are you? I'm fine, great, awesome. And he had a gun in his mouth one night and, and realized that like none of this stuff matters. It's all about living in truth. And there's a, that's a lot to unpack. Um, but this idea of, of not just living in truth when it's comfortable, but always telling the truth. You'll never not care what others think, but not let the opinions of others affect your actions and what you're going to do in, in, uh, anyway. And man, it's just been the most in, impacting it's been the biggest impact that I've, that I've made on myself and then I've seen it play out with others and it's just all I want to do now so it's all I want to do like to the point where I I weirdly want bad things to happen even though I don't want to experience it just because I want to be able to go through it in a public way so that people can be that people can benefit from watching me work through it um, and I know that that will happen like to me the, whatever's about to happen to the economy over the next couple of years is going to be the greatest opportunity ever for people to finally get real and transparent and document the decline and the rise back up. And I hope people do it. Many won't. Uh, most won't. But like that's the stories that people need to see.